Let's start in France, where one person has been killed and two others injured, including a British man. He, now, this was a knife and hammer attack in central Paris. The French interior minister, Gérard Darmanin, has said the attack had targeted tourists around Quai de Grenelle, which is close to the Eiffel Tower. Now, this was the sequence of events. The suspect fatally stabbed a German national. The man was then pursued by police and attacked two other people with a hammer before being stopped with a taser and arrested. The suspect is a 26-year-old French national. Officials say the man was known to authorities in France for trying to stage another attack in 2016. French anti-terror prosecutors say they will be taking over the investigation. Here's what the French interior minister told reporters about the suspects. He told police officers he was angry at what happened in Gaza. And he said that France is complicit in what Israel is doing, and he was fed up of seeing Muslims dying. Well, for more on this, here's our correspondent, Hugh Schofield. It seems quite clear that, uh, that the, there is a link with uh, what's happening in Gaza, that it's a, it's a spillover. This, this man is, is a man, French national of Iranian parents, um, born in Nuit-sur-Seine, which is a very rich part of Paris, uh, and lives with his parents now in the suburbs. Um, so it doesn't look like he fits any kind of classic uh, uh, profile that we've had recently of lone, lone wolf attackers. Um, on the other hand, in the sense that he's not from, uh, you know, a, de a deprived cité or, or banlieue. Um, on the other hand, quite clearly, he does have a record. Um, uh, in in uh, 2016, he was uh, found guilty of planning an attack in La Défense, the business district west of Paris, in, in western Paris, um, and was sentenced to five years in prison, came out in 2000, uh, 2020, um, at which point it was clear that he had, had psych uh, psychiatric problems as well and was to follow a, a treatment, a course of treatment. Um, and what Gérard Damanin, the interior minister, was saying there was that um, one of the key questions is going to be whether that treatment was being followed. I think it's a conclusion that everyone is, is taking as, as read, at least in a kind of preliminary way, that there was a link um, with what's happening in Gaza in that events over there and, and the publicity surrounding it and news surrounding it has, would have triggered him into doing what he was obviously kind of predisposed to do anyway, having this psychiatric problem and a past record of radicalization and was on a, a kind of watch list for the uh, intelligence services.